so don't give away my love so don't give away my love. hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl kim and today's video is not going to be just today it's going to be probably a whole week honestly but t minus like almost like a i don't know how many hours actually uh, half a day until i leave for london i'm going to be an international gala international but yeah so today i am finishing up some last minute errands before i leave tomorrow so right now i'm about to go to i'm gonna run down i have to go to dtlr I have to go to the UPS store and I have to go to Target. So at DTLR, I made an order for some shoes. I really needed some like walking shoes because I don't have any like sneakers that I can like walk in for a long period of time. Like most of my sneakers are Jordans and I have Vans and I have Converse and I have a couple other things here and there, but like none of them are really like walking, running shoes at all. So I ordered me some like Nike I don't, Air Max something. I don't really know the shoe name. So I'm gonna go pick those up. I'll show you guys that. And I have to go to the UPS store because my passport came in time. Y'all, when I tell you I had the most like horrendous, stressful time with that dang passport and visa, like my friends know, my family knows, I was on, like I was crying, throwing up and sliding down the wall because I did not think my passport was gonna be here in time. But luckily it's here. Yay! One day, literally one day before I leave. Like how lucky could I get? So I have to go pick that up from the EPS store. And I also have a package that I need to drop off. Which is my textbook from this year that I didn't use. And I'm honestly probably going to stop buying textbooks. Because I did not use that thing. But it was a rental and I got it from Amazon. So I need to return it. And from Target I'm going to get some small like toiletry things you know like small um what do you call those my lip is i hate when it happens what do you call those travel size boom travel size things like lotions um if they have a face wash i'll get that and um i think they have a mini um shampoo not shampoo that too if they do have it but a mini shaving cream yeah, let me hit the road. I don't know where the TLR is because I've never been to this one. So I'm going to put on my GPS and some music and I'll talk to you guys probably after I get out the store. Man, my mama got me out here in the hood. I mean, of course, it's a DTLR. DTLRs are in the fucking hood. In, in, excuse my language. Are in the hood, but Jesus. But they have thought I lost my, they lost my shoes. I'm going to put y'all right here. They thought I lost my sh they what they thought they lost my shoes because Shadi thought it was a um in store pickup or something when I she thought it was on well, I don't know what she thought it was but anyways these are shoes nothing crazy some I can run in they look a little long no cap yeah these jumps nothing crazy some I can walk in some I can run in yeah I don't know what they're called. This is the size say Nike Air Max, but it don't say a number or nothing. So yeah, got some little running shoes, some little walking shoes. Man, I had got I got this hour long video in my phone, and it's really taking up my storage. And I need to put it on my computer, but I just have yet to do it. So yeah, the customers I got so comfortable up in there. The customers thought I was a worker, and dude was like, size eight, the smallest y'all got. I was like, dude. First of all, I didn't answer him. He was like, oh, you don't work here? I was like, no. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm ready to go to the UPS store and get out the fucking hood because I'm deep in this junk. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay, since we have a PO box at the UP, uh, UPS store, I forgot the key. So I have to go back home and get the key. Okay, mind your business, mind your business. But I just got back from, why well, didn't I, I was cap. I didn't just get back. I have been back for a minute now, but I've been trying to get storage on my phone because I need it at this point. But anyways, better look at the shoes that I got. Yep. 
nest at. They are kind of big. I don't know if I already said this, but I'm wearing six and a half in kids and that's a seven. So they're kind of big, but they'll do the job. Now, a Target haul of the things I got. So first, I already opened this because in the car, my lips were checked. But yeah, I got a two pack of Vaseline. I already have one, but I keep it in my backpack. So this could be um, for like a purse or something because I always lose, like, well, misplace it. So yeah, purse, tote bag, whatever, boom, on deck. Next, I got um, Shea Moisture. This is shampoo. They didn't have like a regular conditioner. They have this leave-in conditioner. So yeah, I already used these. They smell like Play-Doh to me. So yeah, but since they didn't have a conditioner, I got these, this Herbal Essence conditioner. Never used this brand before. Don't even know if it's good and if it's good for curly hair, but it smells nice. So yeah. Next, I got some Listerine Small Mini Mouthwash and some Whitening Crest Toothpaste. I got um, a small thing of body wash. Um, all of these, I didn't want to get any big sizes. One, because I'm traveling, that's just a lot to carry and my suitcase is close to overweight anyways. But once I get there, I can get more stuff. They might not be the brands that I'm used to, but I mean, at least I'll have a little bit for the first half. Got some baby powder. I got the Cetaphil um, cleanser, face cleanser, and the paired face lotion. Got this mini uh, Dr. Bronner's soap. This is the peppermint kind. I have a lotion. I don't use this brand either, but whatever. Some fabric to go spray. I don't really know what I would use this for, but um, yeah, I'll just add it. Ooh, almost lost it. This is what I really came in there for. I came in there really for hair products, this, and that's it. But yeah, many thing of um, shaving cream. I got a mini um, first aid kit. Honestly, nothing really comes in here. Like you get two small band-aids, four bigger band-aids, and some cleansing wipes and some gauze. I needed a new concealer, so got one. I never used this kind of Maybelline. They didn't use they didn't have the Maybelline that I had that what? They didn't have the Maybelline that I use, so I'm gonna try this out. And I got a small travel size perfume because the ones I have now I have the Chanel why can I think number five number nine number five number something Chanel number something okay and it's running low and that perfume I don't know I don't want to I don't like to spray a lot of it on me because it's very strong and the other one I have is like a roller but it's not like a perfume it's like a body oil kind of thing and yeah, so I just got a nice perfume, chalk size, boom. Oh, and then, got a book. Um, I'm currently reading It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, but I'm almost done with it. And I think the flight is like seven or eight hours. So I am set. So I have that book to finish and I have this one. Plus, I'm gonna need something to read while I'm there for two months. And then when I come back, like the flight back, I'm gonna need something to read. So I was like, might as well buy it now. So yeah, I also didn't know if I showed you. We got the passport in hand. Yeah, with my visa in it. And then my, that's it. So I'm going to, my sister has like this little travel cosmetic case thing that I'm going to pack all of this into and I'm going to pack it into my big suitcase and then that's it. I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow because that's when I leave. So bye.
Good morning. Get out the way. Mind your business. Today's the day. I'm moving to London for two months. It has been a long time coming, but I'm here. So right now it's about 10.30 and I am trying to straighten up my room because it looks an absolute mess. Usually I wouldn't show y'all, but I just took those out of the dirty clothes, not the dirty clothes, I just took those out the dryer. I have my backpack. I did my hair last night, very impromptu, very last minute. I definitely did not plan on it, but I did some small box braids, not even box braids, they're free parts. But I did some small braids and it kind of go like to right here in a curly at the ends. And then I have my carry on with the rest of the hair supplies. This is um, like my toiletry thing. If you open it up, it rolls out. And right here, I have all my makeup. And they come out, too. So, like... So, that's good. Um, this is kind of like I have my shaving cream, some toothpaste, like my um, mouth oil products, some sunscreen over here, and the Febreze spray. Most of this is my hair products and my... Um, contact solution and all these are body products so i have that all set up and i have this one bar of soap and then i'm gonna pack because i don't want to pack too much stuff like some of the stuff i could buy there but it'd be different brands but uh <laughs> yeah then i have the duffel bag that i brought for like the couple of days that i was home with outfits in it I just have stuff everywhere, bro. But let's see if I can show you my outfit. This is the airport fit. Once again, mine a mess. But I have this um like fluffy top from Paxson. I got it like last year. Then I have my lovely yoga pants that I got from Target. I wear these to death. These are my favorite pants ever. The best thing I've ever purchased. Yo, yeah. and then for shoes, I want to wear my new sneakers that I just got because I'm gonna be walking through two airports, and who knows what I'm be doing once I get to London, honestly. But yeah, it's totally like blowing my mind that technically I will have this outfit on for two days. You get what I'm saying? Because like I put it on at 10 a.m. this morning, my flight doesn't land until 6 a.m. their time but it's flight takes off at 6 10. our time i will be landing at 1 a.m. their time that's 6 a.m. then i have to go through a whole like i have to travel from the airport to the house that we're staying at do orientation stuff it's like a lot of gotta do and i'll be so tired but I can't wait. Like, this is going to be super exciting. I hope everybody is nice. And I can make friends and stuff. But yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm trying to figure out where I should start. Because there's so many different, like, things I have to do. And honestly, I might just start by folding the big pile of clothes right here. Because that's in the way. And then I move forward from there. So, it's 10 a.m. My checklist is finish packing which I already am just pack the final products I need to print off my paperwork that I need to show once I get to London Airport I need to convert not convert transfer um, some files from my camera onto my computer so I can edit that video because I'm not gonna bring that camera with me because it's just too big and I'm already bringing my film camera so I just don't feel like bringing because I'm going to have my film camera, I'm going to have my Polaroid camera, I have the disposable camera, I have my phone camera. I don't need the digital camera. Like, it's just too much. So, um, yeah, the transfer files. What else do I have to do? Is that it? No. 
I was gonna say I had to contact my bank to let them know, but I looked it up yesterday and you don't even need a travel notice anymore. So I mean, hey, but I think that's it. Like I'm looking around, but I think that's it. So yeah, I'm gonna fold these clothes and I'll hit you guys up when I'm doing something different and a little more entertaining, so. Okay, so I have finished packing everything up. I don't know if I showed y'all my hair, but um, it's in a car clip right now because I'm gonna be hot and it just needs to get out of the way. But I printed off everything that I need and I'm gonna put it in a folder along with my passport so I can have that on hand and already organized. And I'm gonna finish packing up my backpack. Just gotta put my computer in there and my hard drive. But yeah, slowly closing it out. Okay, so I'm in the airport. I made it through security and all that, and I said bye to my parents. Now I'm waiting for the terminal to take me to my uh, gate. So yeah, now I'm just waiting. At first, it was a lot of stress. Now I can relax because getting to TSA and all that is like, ugh. but yeah, so now I'm just chilling. Got my carry on and my backpack on my back. baggage. I just got out of customs. Ooh, that was stressful, honey. I'm so glad that's done. Because no ma'am. <laughs> Never again. But yeah, it wasn't even that bad for her. But I'm just walking. Honestly, don't even know if my baggage is ready yet. <laughs> Literally just made it in. Here's the room. I'm going to claim this bed near the window. And then we have these like storage closet things. tired i'll probably take a nap to be honest because our next thing is until 12 45 and it's now like 9 30 or like nine o'clock it's probably not even 9 30 but yeah so i am studying abroad in london with my school because i don't think i ever said that and i'll be here for two months and yeah i have a roommate but she is not here yet and so it's a triple room, but it's only two of us. So one of the beds are free and one of the closets are free. And yeah, I am so tired. Like I could pass out, but um, it's probably, if it's nine o'clock here, that means it's four o'clock at home. I'm running out of steam. I'm getting delusional. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna lay here and take a nap and um come back when it's time to do orientation. Am I for real walking the streets of London? First day here by myself. I sure am. You can't even see me because the sun's the wrong way. But just know I'm walking the streets of London first day by myself out here. It's crazy. But I'm here to get a freaking washcloth because they provide towels, but not a washcloth. You're good. So I have to get a washcloth. But yeah, it's back what I'm saying. Um, I gotta go to like this little pharmacy or whatever to get a washcloth. And I hope they have it here. Because that would be so tragic. Okay, 
Okay. They have a lupa. Can I use that? Yeah, they have a lupa. But I need something that's like a wash rag. They don't do bags, but I got what I needed. And I forgot. Well, I didn't really forget, but every time I use my debit card or my credit card, I'm going to show my ID, which is rather a bit a hassle because I really don't feel like doing that. But yeah, now that the sun's facing me. So I got two washcloths and I got a. Oh, shoot. I got a loose one. I don't use loofahs because I feel like they hold bacteria. I don't know. But the loofah is the first thing I found, so I just kept it in my hand. It was only $3, well, three pounds. I have no idea what that converts over to dollars. I honestly think it's like five or something like that. But yeah, first day out here, running errands. Like I know what the heck I'm doing. And my phone, like I have international plan, but it's not working. So I did that without a GPS, without maps, because I have photographic memory. My stomach hurt. I should have got some snacks. Because now I'm hungry. I was just walking. Yeah, I've been working up appetite. I don't know. I feel like navigating the streets not that hard. You just got to make sure you look the right way because they drive on the other side of the road. So I'm get hit. But yeah, other than that, it's not hard to navigate at all. I can't remember what the name of this park is right out the top of my head, but I think it's Russell Square or something like that. I don't know. But it's the park I walk, ooh, that I walk through to get back to the house. And it's another park on the other side of my house, or the house, that is, um, girl, I don't even know what the park's name is anymore. Bloomsbury, maybe? I might be making that joint up. I'm trying to get comfortable with, like, vlogging, but, like, nobody really gives a fuck, to be honest. Nobody cares. Oh, yeah. I'm really working an appetite and people like they love to walk and like sit outside here and it's like a whole bunch of little kids out here playing like fresh out of school like they just walked from the schoolyard and decided to come to the park and I fuck with that I like the vibes oh wait this is Bloomsbury Square the other one oh shit these pigeons bro ruthless dog and they're huge oh sick. Like that, these gems be crazy. All in all, I'm very proud of myself because I'm on my road. I made it back. Yeah, get at me with my two wash lots and a lupa. Mm-hmm. Who you know? Who you know? But yeah, at the um at the it was called Boots. It's a pharmacy. It kind of reminds me of like a CVS or Walgreens, thing like that. But there, they didn't have no cashiers. Like, it's only um, self-checkout. <coughs> I just choked. But that's a new wave, for sure. Like, nobody's going to be having actual employees in the store. They just want to self-checkout. But to give a little update, um, I'm very tired. I'm going on, like, 22 hours of no sleep. <laughs> And baby, it's rough. I lied to you not. Ooh, what's on my neck? Ugh, what's on my neck? What the? My hair? Let me make sure I don't pass the house. Now I look stupid. But yeah. 22 hours on sleep. I, it's like almost 5. I'm going to go to sleep at 9. I have to wake up at 9 a.m. tomorrow. So yeah. 
I'm back in the house and I'm writing down. So my friends gave me a journal um, for the trip and I'm just gonna write down what I do every day. So I'm currently writing down what I did today so far. And yeah, I got um, NCIS on the TV. And I'm just chilling. Probably gonna chill in until tomorrow. I have to figure out what I wanna eat for dinner though. Because um, I'm gonna need to eat something. But the food here, like everything I've eaten so far has made my stomach hurt. So I don't know what to eat. I'm breaking out. But yeah. I'm so tired. I don't know why I try this image. Like I can barely keep my eyes open. But last night I took a shower. It feels so good to be out of those airport clothes. Like I wasn't there was clothes. But what felt like forever. I don't feel so fresh and so clean. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I'm gonna sleep good. But I have to be up bright and early at nine o'clock for an internship meeting. So, yeah. I'm gonna finish journaling and I'll talk to you guys later.